SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 17 in the NFL. Right now we're talking with uh, one of my favorite returning guests, Scott Kellen from SixthSenseSports.com. who's had a great year in our free picks video, 16 and 10 against the spread so far this year with us. Scott, thanks for being back with us. Hey, not a problem. Thanks for having me, Peter. All right. Thanks for all the great information and uh, free winning picks you've given us this year. How'd you do last week? Uh, it was a winning week, actually. Five and four. Uh, we just missed out on having a six and three week, but uh, nonetheless, a winning week. And as I've been saying here uh, lately, at the end of the season, it's usually pretty good for us was last year. And uh, we're hoping to uh, duplicate efforts this week and have another winning week. Looks like another good card this week. Okay, sounds great. Yeah, you gave us a great pick on Philly, minus the points last week. First game you're going to take right now is Washington at the Giants, right? And the Giants are three and a half point home favorite. The total is 45 and a half or 46. And, um, of course, both these teams are, are out of the playoff race and are kind of like if they're playing for anything, they're playing for their coaches. Now, what I've been reading is that, you know, the Giants are more likely to be playing, you know, inspired for, uh, for Coughlin than, than the Skins are for Shanahan. On the other hand, you know, Washington's kind of playing with revenge, right? The Giants went into Washington and, and beat them uh, in Washington earlier in the year. So now Washington comes back uh, and, you know, the Redskins have been protecting Cousins well. Cousins has been playing pretty decently at quarterback. And uh, the Giants, maybe they are uh, maybe off a letdown off of the overtime win uh, last week. So Washington getting three and a half, that's the way I would lean. But first, I want to hear confirmation from you. Yeah, I'm going to lean that way as well. Okay. I make the number two and a half in this game. So I think we've got a little bit of value here. Uh, obviously, uh, some value crossing over that key number of three. Uh, and Washington, you know, they, they lost last week. I was on them last week, played well, really had that game won uh, till the end there. Uh, but that close loss actually sets them up in a really nice situation. Uh, that's 101-42-2. and two. It's performed well over the years, going all the way back to 1983. Uh, so the close loss uh, sets them up in that situation. It should get them a, another spirited effort this week. And obviously with Kirk Cousins playing, they, they, they played pretty well. They, uh, they lost by one by scoring 26 points at Atlanta. They had seven turnovers in that game. Lost by one again last week to uh, Dallas. Had that game one till the end. Uh, so I think they're going to play well for Cousins here. And, you know, ironically, the Giants' offense has, has not been very good at all this, this year. Uh, Victor Cruz is out of this game. Their offensive line's banged up. And they've only scored more than 24 points twice this year. Uh, so lane points at home, if they can't get over 24 points, I think the Redskins have an ex excellent chance to cover this number, especially knowing that uh, with Cousins, they've wrapped up, rack, uh, racked up 26 and 23 points the last two weeks. And interestingly enough, if you look back at both these teams' schedules, if you look at the, uh, the Redskins, they played five games this year against teams that, as we go into the last week, are definitely eliminated from the playoffs. They won one of those games, lost the other four, but all those losses have been close. They've been by seven or less points, uh, including losing to the Giants here. And when you look at it from the Giants' perspective, the same thing. They played three teams that are uh, eliminated from the playoffs right now. They defeated Oakland by four, beat the uh, Lions last week by three, and then their other game was a seven-point win uh, at New York so or at Washington. So I expect a close game here. Yes, the Redskins have allowed 24 or more points in all, all but one game this year, so they're probably going to give up their share of points. But they can run the ball with Morris. Uh, Cousins gives them more of a downfield passing game. He's playing much better than Griffin played. They have played spirited and, and been in these last two games uh, with him playing. I'll gladly take the, uh, the three and a half points. It obviously gets us over the key number of three. There's value based on my numbers in Washington. The situation's in their favor. And you got a Giants team, who, as who I said, they just haven't really been able to separate themselves from anybody this year because they can't score offensively. Uh, and so I think the Redskins have an excellent chance here to finish the season with that revenge uh, game uh, and, and, and keep this thing close, if not win the game all right. Okay, sounds good. That is the way I was leaning when I saw these lines, uh, you know, opening up on uh, on Sunday night. Thanks so much, Scott Kellen, leaning Washington plus three and a half.